गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होप एवरीवन इज वेल एंड सेफ सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो और अ सीरीज वी विल बी लुकिंग इनटू गैटलिंग डीएसएल एंड वी विल बी टेकिंग अ लुक इनटू गैटलिंग डीएसएल अलोंग विद द जावा सो इन द वेरी फर्स्ट वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट प्री रिक्विजिट एंड द इंस्टॉलेशन पार्ट सो लेट्स मूव अहेड सो basically before going ahead i just want to give you a some sort of introduction about this domain specific language what we in short call as dsl so dsl is kind of a wrapper wrapper of a gatling or if we are using some other tool so wrapper of that particular tool it's just like an api a library that internally calls the gatling so gatling dsl is available in three different languages java scala and kotlin so prerequisites what are the prerequisites to go ahead so we need java as we will we are looking into gatling dsl we using java we need an editor so we will be using an id so in this in my case i'll be using visual studio and finally we need a build tool so i'll be using a maven and so required dependencies so we need some dependencies related to gatling as we want to run our test using gatling so this is the basic gatling high charts dependencies that we require and we also need a plugins so plugins to run our particular test so gatling maven plugin so we i'm using both the latest version for dependencies as well 3.8.4 as well as the plugin 4.2.7 so we'll have some hands on as well so i'm just sharing all the details that will be looking into more details and finally i have the the most important question so it's like why we are using the dsl what are the benefits of the dsls so dsl help us build a bridge between a developer and a non functional tester so we see whenever in olden days we were work uh, developers were working on the development environment then they were pushing their codes to our qa environment then we were performing our test but what we want is to like we want to shorten the testing uh, complete sdlc cycle and that, for that reason what we want at times we want to test something or the other in the dev environment as well so we want to move towards shift left so uh, reducing the time and all so that is why we want to collaborate more and more with the developer so it help us building such uh, what i can say bridge between developer and a tester and the thing which i also talked about the shift left so yes we want to test it as early as possible if possible we want to move towards dev environment so early testing will leads us some cost optimization along with the cost minimization along with this uh, shortening the time period of the sdlc process so we in agile we want to uh, hit the production as soon as possible so frequent testing will also help us in building getting more confidence over the quality of the build so this is the benefits of the shift left that we are going to get with the benefits of dsl as well and again as we are talking about shift left collaboration so ci cd comes into picture so we are using a j unit or a test ng as a testing uh, framework which can also help us in uh, uh, frequent ci cd builds or deployment and finally we this dsls help us in easy review so the uh, as we know if we take an example of a j meter so here what happens is j meter is a gui tool where we have multiple components of a j meter and each and every components consist of a multiple tabs so it becomes a difficult to review someone else code so because anyone will have to open that particular jmx file into the jmeter gui then he or she will have to navigate through each and every component so it's a tedious task but when it comes to dsl it's a quite easy it's very easy as compared to jmeter or some other tool uh, gui tool and so on and finally we can also run our test at a scale so yes with so let's quickly set up everything in my machine so that we can go ahead so we so i just opened my visual studio code and we'll be creating a new project from scratch so control shift p i'll be creating a maven project and i'll be creating it from the archetype quick start archetype i'm selecting whatever the version it is providing me com.gradle fine demo let it be I have to select a specific folder. So my data, yes, DSL file. 
okay so now it is building a maven project for me so you can see it's a kind of a basic it may take some time so it won't take very long time just a few more minutes yes it's go ahead yes fine build success yes open the particular project so here it has just opened the particular project and being a tester we won't be using this main folder so first of all i'll delete it. are you sure you want to delete the gradle and its content cancel okay i named it as gradle i should have used gatling fine no worries yes okay so now what we'll have to do we'll have to add few of the dependencies as well as some plugins so as we have seen in the ppt that we need a dependency high chart dependency for maven so we'll quickly download it maven dependency gatling I chart and we'll add it within dependency section. Fine, control S, yes. and again I'm using uh, Java 16 in my machine, so I'll have to update it. Java 16, fine need a plugin details so maven gatling plugin maven plugin where is it Gatling Maven plugin. So yes, 4.2.7, the latest one. So I just copied it and I'll add it into plugin section. I need to remove this dependency. So yes, we are done with the video. So we have set up everything for our next video. And in the next video, we will be looking into the some basic CRUD operations. So what we have done, we have just down, created a Maven project from scratch. And then we have updated the uh, Java, which is in my machine. So in my machine, I have installed JDK 16. So I have updated it to JDK 16. I have also downloaded a dependency. So dependency for high chart, yes, Gatling high chart, and a plugin, plugin to run our test. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos on performance testing, keep watching my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe.